Salut, je suis Mélanie Gray, une catcheuse allemande de WXW. Et parce que mon français n'est pas bien, je vais continuer en anglais maintenant. <laughs> And I really hope this was correct French. So, on my way to becoming a wrestler, I've met good guys, bad guys, but I've never met someone who could grant me my wishes. 
So I simply became one myself, which means I became a fairy godmother. But since I don't always play by the rules in the ring, I live by my own rules. <laughs> they call me the sensational, sinister fairy godmother. Yes, um, how do I start wrestling? Um, I've been a wrestling fan in the 90s as a kid. It was like a family gathering, watching wrestling on TV. And yeah, in 2004, I saw that you could do that in Germany. You could actually become a wrestler. So I said to myself, I have to do this. Um, so I got started in a small promotion in Germany and the only things I learned there were like bumps and, and not much more. I was more of a valet than a real wrestler. And uh, in 2012, I had the first contact with uh, Dubix Dub, which was at the 16 karat tournament that year. And by the way, yeah. This is my cat, Minos, one of my two cats. Hey, baby. <laughs> he will walk through the video, probably. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And I started training there the very same year, in 2012. I had my debut in 2013. And I've been with them mostly ever since. <laughs> and, yeah, those were great times. And I'm still enjoying wrestling. Uh, next question, my favorite WrestleMania, um, that is probably WrestleMania 20, because it was the year I started re watching wrestling again, um, and Eddie Guerrero won the championship, and um, John Cena won the United States championship, and those were my two favorites back then, that really got me watching wrestling again, because when, one night I was zapping through TV, and yeah, there was Eddie Guerrero. I was like, oh my god, wrestling, how cool is that? It still exists. And then I saw John Cena, and yeah, I was a fan ever since. Yeah, and that was my favorite WrestleMania. Um, my favorite opponent so far, that has to be Tony Storm. Tony is a goddess in the ring. Seriously, Tony is the best. Tony. I don't have words to describe Tony. She's just awesome. I trust her 100% and it always shows when you trust an opponent 100% because that is simply magic and we have this great chemistry and I love her. <laughs> I simply love her. Um, do you have a contract or am I independent? Um, I am independent. I wish I had a contract. Um, but at the moment I'm injured anyway. <laughs> I tore my ACL, so I can't wrestle at the moment, which sucks. But due to Corona, we can't wrestle anyway, so <laughs> it's not that bad. Um, yes, I'm independent. I wrestle for a couple of promotions and all over Europe. So, yes, I'm free for bookings. Hi. <laughs> um, opponents I want to work with in the future. Um, there are so many. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of them have contracts, <laughs> like Mickey James, for example. I would love to wrestle Mickey James, Trish Stratus, Charlotte Flair. Oh my god, Charlotte Flair would be awesome. Um, yeah, but I, I, I can't nail them down. I can't pin them down. There are so many. Mia Yim would be another one. Um, but... I would also love to wrestle Session of Martina again because it's just simply so much fun. Of course, Tony, Tony Storm always, as I said. Um, yeah, and so many others. I, I can't, there are too many names, to be honest. I, I can't name them all right now. Um, my favorite wrestler when I was young, when I was really young, like as a kid, it was, of course, Brad the Hitman Hart. He was one of them, but I also loved uh, Tatanka and The Undertaker, Razor Ramon. I hated Shawn Michaels, if I'm honest here. I hated him, which only means he was a great heel. Um, yeah, those were mainly the guys I loved as a kid. Uh, when I came back to watching wrestling, as I said, Eddie Guerrero, John Cena, Randy Orton. And by now, I have to say, it's uh, Chris Jericho. Because he's, to me, he's the 
perfect package. He's the whole package. He's entertaining. He can wrestle. He's a great, uh, great technician. And yeah, I know it's Chris Jericho. <laughs> um, what do I, do I think of French Cat? I've been to France once. It was ICWA. I wrestled Bula Punk, and I've I haven't experienced anything like that up to that point because the house was packed um, and they were so loud. Fan, the friend, fans were so loud. They were screaming. They were cheering for me because I was babyface then. <laughs> and it was just amazing. It was just so much fun. And by now, yeah, I think French wrestling is on the way. To becoming more famous, especially with Amar joining um, WWE now, and also Sensa Volto, Tristan Archer, and yeah, all the guys you know or I know, <laughs> we know here in Europe, and I think they will be um, the next big names we have from Europe. I think so, and I would love to come back to France one day, of course. <laughs> um. Is there any international federation I would like to wrestle in? Of course there is! <laughs> I mean, I was lucky enough to have a WWE tryout in 2018 and it was a great experience and of course I will love to wrestle for WWE but I will also love to wrestle for AEW or for stardom in Japan and of course also some, some um, UK promotions like Hi OTT <laughs> There are just so many, but yeah, the big names, of course, AEW, WWE, those would be really neat. <laughs> okay, so those were the questions. I hope you enjoyed this video, um, this interview. If you have any more questions, I'm available below on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So follow me, join me on this weird ride that's called Wrestling, and send me much love. Bonsoir à tous les amis, j'espère que vous allez bien. Euh, du coup, ben, je souhaite une très bonne soirée à tout le monde. J'espère que l'interview va vous plaire. Et nous, ben, on a donné le maximum. Mélanie Gray a été vraiment euh, une personne exceptionnelle. Et donc, euh, on continue ensemble à donner tout le maximum pour vous divertir. Et on va continuer encore et encore. Prochaine interview avec Serge Sullivan. Bonne soirée à vous tous et on se retrouve très prochainement.